Hey, what's up guys? Peach out here coming at you with a reaction video to 2.6.5 and uh, my thoughts and opinions on it. I know it's been a while since I've been actively updating my YouTube content for Diablo 3. And that's really because there's not a lot of content there, man. I've been wanting to make videos for you guys, but there hasn't been much to talk about. So um, I'm excited to kind of get this PTR preview and give my thoughts and feedback on it. Um, unfortunately, it's not exactly what I hoped for. Now, I'm going to assume you've already read the patch notes, and if you haven't, there's a link in the YouTube description below that will take you there where you can read them yourself. I'm gonna go over the highlights and the things that I think are important, and then why I think Blizzard really screwed up, man. There is a chain of events that I think could have been handled so much better with the amount of development time that they've invested in the last two seasons, and, um, I want to get into that but before i do i need to go over the seasonal themes and, and the highlights of this patch so you guys know what i'm talking to as i make the points on why i think blizzard screwed up and um so let's get into that um patch 2.6.5 preview was posted a couple hours ago and i want to go over the details the ptr goals you know they're talking about what they want us to test which they want us to push as high as possible with the character classes that we're good at using the new seasonal theme etc cetera, etc cetera. Uh, but the big things right here in the general section, they're going to add Torments 14, 15, and 16. And, and I'll get into my thoughts on all that. Uh, there's going to be Season of Lawn, which means we're going to always have the Lawn buff active, even if you don't have the rings equipped. And this is something that I've been predicting ever since we got Season of Grandeur announced. I've been saying it's going to be Season of Lawn, going to be Season of Lawn. And sure enough, it's Season of Lawn. So uh, I was right on the money with that. And I'm kind of disappointed that's it because I hoped for better. And uh, here's my reasoning. When they delayed season 16, two additional months to finish coding things and get the seasonal theme worked out, I was, I guess I'd let that seep in to my expectations, even though after the BlizzCon announcements and hype and derailing the hype and all that kind of stuff, I knew I shouldn't get my hopes up. I kind of did. You know, I'm so passionate about Diablo that I let it creep in there. And that that little bit of hope blew my expectations up to maybe think we're actually going to get some kind of tangible content. And in all reality, it's just really a continuation of what they did last season, not a really groundbreaking seasonal theme, although I think it will be fun for a little while. Um, and that kind of leads me into why I think Blizzard screwed up. I think that the legacy of nightmares buff that we got in season 16 should not have come through in patch 2.6.4 that should have been saved for season 17 for the 2.6.5 patch we already got a retooling of almost all of the class sets except for necromancer and 2.6.4 and then they gave us the lawn anyways and it's like that wasn't needed we already had enough juicy content to hold us over for the two months that we were supposed to get for the season. The season extension sucked the life out of that, those buffs. And not only that, you kind of used up all of your tricks in one season. If they would have saved season, uh, the lawn buff for season of lawn, it would have made so much more sense. And we would have been even more excited to get those changes and to be able to play with lawn. And all of the people out there who aren't fan of sets in Diablo, would have kind of had their heyday and would have been able to test the builds that they've been, you know, dying to try out. Um, it's just a shame. It, it's really just a shame that they gave us Lon in 2.6.4. They should have saved it for 2.6.5. And so that extra dev time they put into that was wasted and kind of thrown away. And yeah, it was cool to have it this season, but we could have creeped by without it. Um, so I think that is the biggest way they shot themselves in the foot. And, and I really wish they would have played their cards differently on that. And on a side note, it, it seems like, you know, I'm not ungrateful or discrediting the work that the devs who made these changes and did this content. I'm not discrediting that. Uh, it's, it's really awesome that these guys are doing it. I'm, I'm genuinely a little upset with the management that's not choosing to put enough dev effort to get bigger content patches and to get more significant things in these patches but to the guys that are actually producing this content my hat's off to you thank you for the work you're doing i really appreciate it because i'm super passionate about this game 
And I think a lot of times, you know, people react to content and they say, oh, this sucks or this is horrible or, and I don't really want to do that because it discredits all the work that those guys put in. And I do appreciate it. I'm just a little upset that there's not more of a group effort on Blizzard's part to give more dev effort to Diablo 3 to keep improving it and get bigger content patches and bigger seasonal themes. Uh, but I'm sure that the guys that are, are working on it now are doing everything they can and giving us the most that they can. So thank you for that. Um, now I'm going to kind of go over how I feel about certain things. So you can see right here we have Torment 14, 15, and 16 have been added to the game. I don't know how I feel about this. Part of me is like, this is awesome. We're going to get more mats. Hopefully we're going to get more gold. We're going to get more uh keystones to open greater rifts and all those things are going to be in there more bounty mats when we run bounties but then part of me is like this is going to pigeonhole us very hard into always running the greater rift builds in torment 16. i'm sure there's going to be some differences for you know torment 16 versus greater rifts especially when you start considering items like gold wrap and boon of the hoarder and things like that but um i think ultimately all the diversity that they added in the game in 2.6.4 is now being removed from the game with the addition of Torment 16. And I don't know if this is going to give us the effect they want. I think sometimes the community asks for things that aren't necessarily good for the game. And I know not everybody's going to agree with that statement, but I really don't think Torment 16 is going to ultimately be good for the game. I think it's going to pigeonhole us into playing specific builds. And I know we already run specific builds for most max efficiency in t13s um, but i think this is going to um, you know exaggerate that even more for torment 16. uh the portals left behind treasure goblins are going somewhere ridiculous that's cool that's that's awesome i like that uh that's that's an amazing change um ancient and primal puzzle rings in kadala's cube uh are the kanai cube sorry now result in a new a new result uh, we don't know what it is i'm assuming it's going to be like a better vault which is super awesome that's really cool this is something that we've been talking about for years and it's kind of like a meme at this point so for them to actually do this does make me think like hey they're listening they're hearing what we say so that's kind of cool um party portraits display if a player's uh cheat death has been you know used that's cool for hardcore that's really baller that's super super amazing uh your teammates can hopefully come to your rescue and keep you alive uh, when a boss is killed in the rift, there's going to be a mark on the boss's location. <laughs> like, thank you. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Uh, boss notification screen uh, has received the rework. Um, I don't really know what that means. I guess it's, it's going to like display differently when we have a boss up. I'm not really sure. Uh, greater rift notification screen is reworked and greater rift completion screen is reworked. And again, I don't really know what these mean. So we'll have to see how cool those really are um the matchmaking prevents players from joining in the rift in progress like you know not a big deal but that's cool um and then the progress bar is visible to all players outside the rift i think is what they're really getting at and that's really uh it's a nice change i don't know how like grand groundbreaking that is if you're carrying people and they're like in town afk and hardcore maybe that's kind of cool I'm not really sure uh quality of life changes additional stash space oh my god we have been begging and begging and begging for this. They could have sold this to us. I'm just saying, Blizzard, you could have sold this stash base to us and got some money, but I appreciate you giving it to us for free. That's pretty awesome. Five additional stash tabs for PC and 140 spaces are available for PS4, Xbox One, and the Switch. That's really cool. Uh, not really much else to say about it other than thank you. The search bar functionality has been added to the stash for PC only. Oh man, that's huge. I don't know exactly how this is gonna work, it's going to gray items out or if it's going to tell you hey it's in another tab and another slot but either way this is so awesome uh that's that's probably the biggest quality of life change that they've added to the game period in five years i, I can't even think of anything better than this uh all crafters now have an expand collapse button for recipes okay that's i don't really care too much about that but thanks i guess uh, most bounty indicators are now displayed immediately after entering the bounty area. That speeds up the time it takes to do bounties. That's cool. Um, you know, that's, that's pretty cool. I don't, I, you know, I hate running bounties. So anything to make them faster is awesome. Death's breath now drop in the Herodric caches. That's cool. I mean, I don't know how many you're going to drop. And on T16, we don't know how many mats we're going to get, but Hey, 
Death breaths are, some are better than none, you know, so I like that. That's all for the quality of life. So the stash space is huge though. That's that's pretty important. I couldn't really ask for anything else after getting this. The search functionality is just icing on the cake. Um, and then, you know, for the seasonal journey, uh, it's gonna show the chapters, you know, that's cool. I've always kind of wanted to be able to see that, but you know, again, not, not game changing. Um, and then this, the buff for the season is the exact same as the uh, Legacy of Nightmares. I thought the Legacy of Nightmares armor was 6%, not 4%, but I could be off on that uh, bad memory. So I'll definitely want to double check this and make sure that that's 4% is the same as what we currently have. Um, and then that's kind of it, man. They talk about the Season of Grandeur being the most popular and this and that, and that's why they did the lawn and yada, yada, yada. Um, as, and then they do a little bit of item balancing, and this seems very, very slim slim pickings on this item balancing and this is kind of one of my biggest uh complaints about the ptr is we got a total of you know like 10 12 items that reworked one of them is a potion so a new potion like spend that dev time instead of making a new potion into like balancing more legendaries it just this just seems uh this seems offbeat and like not with what the community would want i think if you asked anybody in the community do you want a new potion or would you rather have three or four legendary items reworked you know i don't know the time it takes to make a brand new potion versus balancing a legendary item but you know i don't know but okay so we got a legendary item that makes you immune to crowd control effects after drinking it seems pretty powerful i mean for sure we'll we'll use that um you know the, the classes that don't have immunity to crowd control will use that uh we got um a cons uh leniency is each enemy hit by your blessed shield increases the damage of your blessed shield and this went from 15 to 20 percent to 75 to 100 that's a pretty big buff man that's that's a really big buff uh so what this is targeting is this is going to target the uh the captain america blessed shield crusaders and then also the piece that goes with this is the, the uh jacking board and i'm not sure if i'm saying that right but the, it's the captain america shield that hits six additional enemies and its damage was increased from 225 to 300 percent to 300 400 so you can get a 400% roll, which is 100% more than before. And then also you're going to get this damage boosted from 20% to a potential 100%. So those two items are going to stack pretty well together. Um, and then with the Legacy and Nightmares buff, it's going to make some really interesting Captain America builds. And it makes me wonder if that's what their goal was, if they were targeting, you know, hey, let's juice this up a little bit for the Legacy and Nightmares season. It's the way I feel. Uh, Blood Tide Blade Death Nova is going to get an increase by 300 to 400 percent to every enemy within 25 yards. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Chantoto's Will is going to get buffed as well. Wave of Destruction is going to go from a thousand percent damage to four thousand percent damage. So that's a four times buff right there. And then also, while you're not in Archon form, the stacks are also going to go from a thousand to four thousand. So that's a really big increase to Chantoto's Will. Um, and then you got dagger of darts, your poison darts and your fetishes pierce an additional, you know, 400 to 500% damage. So that's awesome boost for your, your, uh, dart dagger, witch doctors out there. Iron Rose, uh, blood siphon has been increased by hundred percent from 50. So it's a 50% chance on that to cast that free, um, blood Nova. So, I mean, it's hundred percent, I guess is what it takes it up to. So that's pretty cool. Um, I, I'm sure there are going to be some builds that play around this mechanic uh we already talked about the captain america shield and then the sage set now this one's awkward because i've heard a lot of people with varying opinions on how this works and it says i'm going to read it verbatim now doubles the amount of death's breath that drop it now doubles the amount okay the previous was an increase by one and some people are saying it's going to double one which makes it two I personally don't think that's how it reads. If a elite were to drop three death breath with the sages set, now instead of dropping three at torment 13, it's going to double that, making them drop six. So with the previous version, instead of dropping three, they would have dropped four, right? And if you add another one to that, it would have dropped five. I think the way this reads is instead it's gonna drop six, but we'll have to test it. We'll have to figure it out. Um, when I tried to make this argument to people, they didn't hear it. They're like, no, you're wrong. And I'm like, that's what it says. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I am, my brain doesn't process what it's saying. But to me, it's saying it now doubles the amount of death breath that drop. 
and then previously it increased it by one so i think if it dropped three before you're going to get six i think on torment 16 let's say it drops five then you're going to get 10 etc i think it's going to actually double the number that drop from the enemy that you kill so you know that'll be pretty cool um and then there's some bug fixes in here that nothing too significant that jumped out at me and it tells you how to participate in the patch so again um i'm excited we're getting something i don't think that this lives up to the expectations that i had built for myself when they announced the extension of season 16. i thought that we were going to get something a little bit more significant had this actually dropped on time within the two month time frame that we had for season 16 I think my expectations would have been right on par with this. I think this probably actually would have exceeded my expectations. But when they took an additional two months of extended time for the season to make the season go from January to May, a five month season, that really made me think five months of development time, they're going to get something really, really good for us. And uh, this is kind of just what we expected on a two month cycle. So uh you know i hope we get more things in the future it is something you know i know it's like we well, got something and you're still complaining i just wanted a little bit more i wish that they would have saved the lawn buff from last season for this season i think that would have built the hype up a little bit better i ultimately think that this is going to play a lot like season 16 the first three or four weeks of the season are going to be super hype and super fun and then i think people are going to fade very 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 quickly um uh, towards after you know the the one month mark of the season so uh, it is what it is, man. 2.6.5. The PTR is going to drop on us. They did announce the dates, and I believe it was April the 5th. But let me dig through here really quick and find that for us. Friday, April 5th. And they didn't actually put a start time in there. I think they normally try to start it in the early afternoon, but last seasons, it actually didn't start until almost 11 o'clock at night. They barely made the deadline. So we'll see when this actually drops. Uh, but Friday, April 5th, we'll be testing this PTR, guys, and seeing how it goes. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Come hang out with me. And uh, we stream six days a week on Twitch, Monday through Friday at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Saturdays at 11 p.m. Central Standard Time. We will be live on Friday the 5th, testing the PTR, trying some builds, doing some things. So come hang out with me when we go live for that. Follow me on Twitter, at the Child. I also have been doing a community and questions section. So if you're new to the channel, check out the community questions section. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.